Hello everyone, welcome back to Math Mode. Here we have interesting factorial equation 1 over 5 factorial plus 1 over 6 factorial plus 1 over 7 factorial equal to 1 over x. How can you solve this? On the first side this equation is real hard because we have factorials, 6 is 7, factorial is a huge numbers. So let's try to simplify this. First of all we need to know that this 5 factorial is a product from 1 to 5. This 6 factorial is a product from 1 to 6. And this 7 factorial is a product from 1 to 7. So as you can see, as a common denominator will be 7 factorial. So we will have right here we will have all of these all of these numbers, all of these values. So our common denominator denominator will be 7 factorial. So let's write this this fraction. So we will have 7 factorial in our denominator. And what, what we will have right here near this 5 factorial? We will have our 6 times 7, because we don't have this 6 times 7 right here, so we need to write this 6 times 7 in this fraction. 6 times 7. What we will have near this 6 factorial? We need to have 7, so plus 7. And we have all of these products right here, so we need to write plus 1. So this is our common denominator and let's simplify this. Let, let's simplify this. So we will have 6 times 7, 42, plus 7 plus 1, we will have 50, but I write this as plus 8 over 7 factorial equal to 1 over x. And as a result we will have an interesting equation, 50 over 7 factorial equal to 1 over x. So how can you solve this? You did a cross multiplying, so as a result we will have that our x equal to 1 over 7 in our denominator and dividing by 50. So as a result we will have that x equal to 7 factorial dividing by, by 50. And let's simplify this, because we all know that this product we can write as 1 times 2 times 3 times 4 times 5 times 6 times 7 and dividing by over 50. So let's cancel values a little bit. So this one, these two we can cancel. So as a result we will have right here 25. 25 we can cancel with this 5. So we will have 5 right here. So let's multiply. 3 times 4 times 6 times 7. I write this right here what we will have that our x equal to 3 times 4 times 6 times 7 and all over 5. Of course we can multiply this, we will have 12 times 6, we will have 12 times 42 and all over 5. Multiplying this, 12 times 42, it will be 504 all over 5. And if we need a decimal answer, it will be equal to 100.8. And this is our, our answer. First step, finding our common denominator, adding all of these in our denominator, and we will have our equation. But with our factorial, so with nothing hard, we need to write our factorial using that way and to cancel with this 50, what we can of course, but as a result we will have not huge number of course, 12 times 42 is not huge number, so we can multiply this and as a result we will have our answer 100.8. If you have any question, if you have any suggestion, write your suggestion in the comment, write your question in the comment. Thank you for watching and see you in the next videos.